Hello there and welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. Currently, we're not in the room. We're in some kind of orphanage yard. This guy, he's drinking my chocolate milk. But he did give us a trowel, or a shovel if you will, in return. It does say, on the shovel, something. It says, blood inscribed spade. Written in blood is opposite where the lake and the house meet. Inside the hand, holding onto the ground. Whatever that means. Um. And the lake was over... Which side was it? I think it was the top left. Was it? I don't even know. The only place we've got left to explore anyway seems to be through this door, so we're going to have to go through here. If I remember correctly, there were scary dogs on the other side. Indeed. Right, okay, if we can walk around them, that might avoid a fight. Oh, I can't see very well. Hello, friendo. Okay, this works. That one was looking at me then. I don't know why he didn't chase me. He was so close. Okay. What do we have here? It's actually starting to look a little bit foggy. That could just be the noise filter. Hard to tell, sometimes. Right, okay, so hand earth. Whatever that means. Why are some of the trees are, like, bandaged up? It's weird. What do we have here? It's more of the same. It's hard to tell. What does that even mean? More writing. It looks like his hands coming out the earth there. That could be something to do with it. Um, someone carved some kind of weird writing. We still can't read any of this. I don't know why there's so much writing and something we can't read. So, right, let's see if we can shovel. Seems that we can. Okay, I think we found it. That's good. That was nice and quick. I mean, we only had so many options, really, didn't we? So, at the end of the day. <laughs> Come on, Henry. Green thumb. Right, okay, that's cool. And we have lost our shovel thing, so... Right, okay, let's see this. Rusty bloody key. Rusty bloody key inscribed on it is the holder of this key will run wander for an eternity. Whatever that means. Um, it's weird how everything has text on it. I will say. Right, okay. Um, we might as well check up here first. I was going to run straight back to the house, but... Okay, what do we have? Nothing. It's too dark to see down the well. Always the case. I'm hearing noises. There is a tunnel here. But that's a golf club. I'll take that. I guess. We have a whole golf bank's worth of uh, clubs. Where did you come from, you sneaky sausage? Right, okay. Enough of that business. So there's just checkpoints everywhere in this place. Good to. Why is the screen weird? I don't like it. Okay. Is this room repeating? It is. Uh oh. What's the solution here? I don't. Rusted and bloody key inscribed on it is the holder of this key. Will... Okay. And we can't drop the key down. Unless... I've got an idea. We might have to go through that hole. Place the key in our item box. And then walk back and then get it from the hole on the other side. A bit fiddly, but I know we can do it for a fact. Okay. I'm getting sucked back down the sewage pipes. 
I'm frightened that there's going to be something scary in my apartment now I've got this key there. Right. I'm just waiting for the second we see someone hanging out at the end of the hallway. Terrified. This one actually seems pretty spooky so far, you know, with like the ongoings, like like the little subtle things, I think. Uh, right, we haven't had a phone call in a little while. Have a quick look out the window just in case something else is going on. Now we've got the key. Guy's still dancing down there. No, neighbours still being weird. Billboard, still the same. Is that... Is that a Robbie Rabbit air balloon up there? It it looks like it. Bizarre. Right, okay. I don't know if that holds any significance, though. Right. Please don't scare me. Please do not scare me. Nope, we're good, I think. I think, I hope. Uh, we are going to chuck a save in while we're here, I think, as well. Might as well. Right, let's check the hall. Wait a second. Why were you staring in my peephole again, mister? We caught you last time as well, Richard, if that is your real name. Like, leave me alone. I can't... Well, I can see you. Maybe you can see me. I doubt it, though, somehow. I'm starting to think we are in another dimension in this room. Right, okay. I mean, there's no harm in checking next door as well, I suppose. She's not in. That is fine, I guess. Right, okay, let's chuck that save in, put the key away, and then we will... I am stuck behind some chairs right now. Right, okay. Safe and sound-ish. Right, put this away. Please. <coughs> that chest is noisy and it scares. <laughs> it scares very easily. Right, so I'm guessing we put that away. I'm going to put the golf club away as well. I think if we've got a pipe, what's the point? It's basically... Well, then again, I don't know. Super pipe, not very powerful. Powerful? Okay, so maybe they are worth saving for something, potentially. Let's say they were breakable, then. Are they breakable? <coughs> They've got to be, otherwise they wouldn't provide you with multiple, surely. Yeah, break easily. Right, okay, so key is away. So if we go back through and then go back through the forest, can we get through without the loop happening? These noises are quite frightening. I don't like them. I don't like them one bit. I'm so glad that we don't have to crawl through that like we did the first time. If we had to do that every time, that would be fairly tedious. Right. Got a ghastly loading screen to contend with. Right, there's a ghost here we've got to be careful of. Hands on the floor. That we've already dealt with. I don't know what the deal is with that, but... That's like the third time it's got me. The second time? Right. I am expecting dogs to still be around. So this is the room we couldn't get through. Ah, we're well, good. I think we solved it. Right, okay, there's dogs everywhere. We could probably walk straight down the main path here. Right, okay. There's a bug. I'm running. Oh, he got me. Where did he come from? Okay, so now we need to go through the hole again, I believe, and then we can pick up. He's still chugging that milk. That's not even that big a bowl. Right, okay. Squeeze through. Into the hole. Okay. The pipe looks worse coming back through than it does going towards, towards the uh, destination. Apart from the uh, winding roads, obviously. It's weird that you can move that. I like it, though. Eh, right, okay. So we wake up once again. There may be different stuff going on again here. We're going to have to check the usuals. Right. I'm just so expecting there to be someone there at some point. I know I keep saying that, but it is at the back of my mind constantly. Right, okay, what is through? Is that man still here? No, nothing this time. 
I'll take a nothing though. That is good. Right. Gotta check on you, I'm sorry to say. Nothing. Okay, that's good too. Means nothing bad is happening, and I like that. I one peek outside if we can look outside. Right. Anything. Uh, most of our neighbours are out, actually, which is unusual. The kids are still staring at me. Which is a bit odd. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. The air balloon's gone as well. Shame. That was breaking the scenery up a little bit for me. Right, let's uh, get that key out and let's get straight back into that uh, situation that we've been in. Let's if I know where it is. Right, key. We've got this thing as well. Uh, from Subway. Well, I don't know where they're used. But we haven't got a whole lot of items, to be fair. We've got quite a few bullets, though, and I haven't even used the handgun at all yet. I do like saving me bullets for bosses, though. That is uh, the big thing. At least for me. Into the hole. Sure thing! It doesn't seem dangerous at all. It's... it's This forest so far, to me at least, is less scary than the subway. But I think maybe it's because it's an open area. I don't know why, but that makes me feel a, a bit of relief for some reason. Right, okay, so we've got the key now. Everything is slightly odd still, but we are here. Do you say anything else? Nobody's still glugging away. You found it, huh? I did. Milk good? G gives me the chills. What does the key or <laughs> whatever, dude? Okay, you know how I said open spaces make me feel a bit chilled? This is not an open space. This is a creepy apartment. There's a scribbled note. Have you found a lesser yet? How is Walter's progress coming along? Send me a report. Right, so they're still talking about a lesser. So it's more linked than I thought it was. Right, okay. Is this a child's drawing? Yeah, possibly. Considering this is an orphanage. There's a bloody piano over there I kind of wanted to go and tango with, but we can't reach it. Hello? When did you sneak in here? Uh, I wonder what they did here. I have a feeling this guy is going to betray me at some point. This looks like a, a heater, like a space heater. I wonder what's going on here. Horrible things, Henry. Only horrible things. It's like an altar overturned. It's falling apart. I can't even read most of the pages. Here's the part that I can read. The second sign, and God said. I've just heard a door go. Um, Offer the blood of the ten sinners and the white oil. But then release from the bonds of flesh and gain the power of heaven. From the darkness and void bring forth gloom and gird thyself with despair for the giver of wisdom the third sign and god said return to the source through sin's temptation under the watchful eye of the demon wander alone in the formless chaos only then will the four atonements be in alignment four atonements i mean he said most of it was ruined but that was quite a chunk <laughs> I put it in the scrapbook as well. Well, that doesn't even sound remotely good. Right, lock's broken, typical. I don't even want to go in there. I feel like this does the horror really well. Right, okay. Let me in then. Oh, there is a thing on the door. Remove the plate. I'll take it. From Forest World. It shows a baby and says, Source. Oh dear.
Seven, one, two, one. I finally met him, the one the nosy guy talked about, the devil. I've just realised what this is doing as well. So this is is numbering all the bodies. The one, two, one says the same, but obviously the coffin we found was eleven. Cynthia was number sixteen which was noted on the wall. A special news report. In a forest near Silent Hill, the burned corpse of a 30-year-old male was discovered earlier today. The police have ruled it a homicide and are investigating. The numbers 17121 were reportedly carved into the man's body. Due to the marks on the victim, the police are investigating possible links to the Walter Sullivan case 10 years ago. Um, okay, so yeah, as I was saying, that's no, he's number 17, but I don't know what the 121 stands for. Walter Sullivan, we found a note about him in Silent Hill 2, I'm pretty sure. Um, right, okay, I guess we look outside. I know you can't open the windows, mister. I mean, I don't think we're going to see much here. Obviously, it wasn't close as far as I'm aware. Right, okay, so we finished the forest world, it seems, because we've been warped straight back here. So, we've got somewhere else to be. Right, our door's going again. No note. Hello? This is the superintendent. Are you in there, Henry? Help me! There's something wrong with this room! Help! Let me out of here! Is anybody home? So was that James's like, dad, What's maybe? What's going on here? Was it Frank Sunderland? something in there. Hmm. Yeah. That sound. It's the same one as back then. There's a new hand that I've just noticed. Same one as back then, hey. What does that even mean? Right, okay. Um, we're going to have to check next door again. There's, no, there's only a few things we can do here now, I think. That I know of, anyway. Right, she's still not here. Maybe she's at the party, maybe, that she was talking about. Right, so, uh, we don't have that key anymore, which is a good thing. We've got a source placard, whatever that's for. I'm going to put that away. I'm Guessing that has something to do with the four things that no mentioned before. Uh, oh. So I'm going to put that away for now. And we'll keep the other stuff, just in case. And we will chuck one more save in. Right, okay, so that is a return from Forest World. That is nice. We'll check out the main windows here. Because you can see more. That guy is still sitting there with no pants on, which is pretty awful. Uh, right, okay. Um, I can't see much else though. Right, okay. TV's still bust, I guess. It's still, I think it, yeah. Just like I thought, the power's blown. He didn't say that before. The power's blown, but 
And next, we'll be taking a look at the weather. Tonight, we can expect scattered clouds clearing by morning. Tomorrow looks to be quite a nice day with uh, warm and sunny weather continuing through the evening and the weekend. We can expect more of the same. So I hope you all get out there and uh, enjoy your weekend. I mean, I'll try, Mrs. Radio Lady. And now it's static again. Not my favourite thing ever. Right, okay. So the only thing I know to do is to go back through the hole. There's got to be something to do with these rooms at some point, surely. Right. I guess we just climb through the hole and, and see what's next. Though it is quite frightening knowing that I don't know where we're going next. Right. The hole is getting bigger, I think. The hole has changed again. I think I can hear children's voices. We could hear that right at the start. Will you go in? Yes, I guess. We don't really have a choice. Well, that was rapid. Right, okay. What do you hold for me this time? Dripping? Oh, this doesn't look good. This looks worse than everything we've seen so far. circular room, it looks like, kind of. Sorry? Is that, is that us breathing? It certainly looks circular. Right, okay. Check the doors. That's what we're gonna do. Locked. It is very drippy here. I'll take that though. That does not sound like my footprints. Was there a shadow that just went past the cell as we went? I think that's what was just happening. There's a bug on the wall. Graffiti. It still looks like a kid's writing. I'm being watched from the middle room. Right? There is a hole there. Someone definitely walked past. That's the impression that I got. Something on the floor here. He's gonna kill me. There's a sloppily written note on the ground. Right, okay. Lucky. I found... Oh, I finally escaped from the cell. I decided to take a careful look around this building. The scariest place was the first floor, basement. There's a kitchen in the northeast, but the next door in the northwest is a death chamber. To get in there, you have to punch in the right numbers. I don't know the numbers, and it was too dark to even see the panel, so I didn't go in. Right, okay, spooky. He's gonna kill me! Who? Oh, there's a guy. Hi. It's locked. Who are you, sir? Get me out. If I can find Get a way. Get out of here. I will. Hole in the wall. Right, okay, that's good news. We might use that in a minute, but I am going to check some of the rest of these rooms out first. Uh, how far around are we? Right, okay, this is, it's good to check all the doors and then we, we know what we're dealing with. There's a lot of bugs here too. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Get me out. Right, that's broken. How does one move from floor to floor then? Something here. A noose! Something's written. 
I'm sick of being watched. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this opens too. Don't like the look of that. I don't really know what they are. But I thought killing them would have been a good idea. But there is nothing to check in here. Spitting for whatever reason. Right, okay, we are back round now. Is that a ladder in that room? Right, okay, so it's double doors on the right somewhere. Get me out. Ladder. Door. Okay. Unusual. Ladder. <laughs> Didn't like the sound. There's another door. It's locked. Right, okay. Okay, so we can potentially get a key here. Why does it look like there's a, uh, like a ladder here on the, on the map? Confusing. All right, okay. So I guess we either go down the ladder or we see what that was making that noise. Okay, I'm gonna be brave. Oh no, it's these things. I don't know if we can take them out fully. Okay, we got you. I'm gonna try and destroy them, and hopefully they don't come back. I honestly didn't think we'd be seeing those guys again. This Everything's just cylinders here. Right, okay. Yeah, it goes right the way around, it looks like. No, you can't get me that easily. Okay. They're very noisy. Okay, we got hit that sound, it's no good. Let me go, please. I'm gonna run past you. I'm wasting my time. Okay, we made it right, way, right the way round, and it's it's gave us another. It won't open. Seems like it's locked from inside. We didn't go down anywhere, did we? Wait a second. How did we get in? Uh-oh, I think it's going to confuse the heck out of me. <laughs> oh, it goes down. I see what it is. Right, okay. So it, like, kind of corkscrews downwards. Okay. So this is locked down here. And the other ladder leads to where exactly? Another situation like this. Okay. Right, we're gonna go back to the apartment, I think. And just heal up that tiny bit of damage that we took. Check it out, because we're in a new world now. And uh, potentially took a save in. Right, let me through. Also, we need to see if anything's changed. Now that we've had James's father, or what I think is James's father, checking in on us. Right. Now what? Halo of the Sun? 
I mean, what would be worse is if you were getting up and it was all groggy and there'd be someone standing at the end of your bed. That sounds like the radio's on. TV? I don't remember turning this on. Even when I turn the power off, the screen stays on. Weird. Okay. Still people staring in. Ah, the Robbie Bloom's, Bloom's back. It's uh, still got blood all on its face, which is a bit of an odd thing for a mascot, really. I don't like the TV's on. Oh, what's this? There's a scrap of paper stuck to the... So I'm stuck in here. Uh, lately I've been feeling like my life is in serious danger. I've been through a lot in my life, but I've never felt this kind of pure animal fear. In case something happens to me, I've decided to write down what I've learned from whoever you are that's living in this apartment now. I've been investigating the mass murder that took place seven years ago in which ten people were killed in ten days. They were killed in a variety of ways, but the one thing they had in common was that each corpse had the following numbers in order of their deaths carved into them. Right, okay. Yeah, it's always one to one for some reason. Uh, the name of their killer, it was carved in as well. His name was Walter Sullivan. We did read about a murderer called Walter Sullivan in Silent Hill 2, right? Uh, April 4. Okay. So who is this guy that's writing the notes, then? I wish we could turn the TV off. The static is bothering me. Right, check on next door. We have to. It's the rules. <laughs> I'm assuming she's watching TV there. Right, okay. I wonder if our TV's on because she's watching TV. This place is badly put together. Right, I'm going to save it here and we're going to end the episode amongst this noise. <laughs> Horrible though it is. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, like and subscribe. Think about clicking that bell icon if you want future episodes updated to you as and when they come out. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.